Well, my browser is having a, a heart attack, so I guess I'll just get back to recording. Well, let's see here. So where are we at now? So we're gonna try working on getting to Brecken or no Broadleaf. I forgot. What it was. All right, you know, what? let's head over to. Let's head out of here. Mm, I guess return to throne room because we have to speak to somebody, right? It was right. Leander needed me to speak to him. Well, it seems we have all that we need. Then let's get, let's have Catch begin his his research into how ships so that we made a jump. Hey there. I feel like that they specifically put him in that position for this exact reason. They're like, ah, he doesn't have pants, so you know what? Let's get him in that shot. You know, just get him in there. I'll set your Majesty. That Leander showed showed us what what we need doing, and we went and did it as quick as you like. You'll be leaping around the ocean like Billy O and that thing now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Catch. Now we can get to Broadleaf. Sweet. All right, everyone, looking ship shape, uh, shall we get going? Before we before we set sail, just what kind of country is this Broadleaf? Eh? I've never ventured so far as I'll, I'll tell me up. It is a kingdom founded on a mysterious art known as science. Huh? Science? It means manipulating the powers of nature, like magic, but unlike it. Say. It's ruled by President Zip Vector, right? The inventor. He's some kind of genius, apparently. Thanks to his ingenuity, what began as a small business has grown into a great industrial nation almost overnight. Last it seems that things have not been going well for him of late. There are reports of political unrest and discontent among the populace. Mm. Another kingdom with problems. Yep, then we'll fix his problems, and then before you know it, we'll have him under our wing, because that seems to be how all these guys go. Mm. Something tells me we're about to walk into another fine mess. Oh, come on! Stop being so miserable and let's get going, shall we? I, for one, want, can't wait to see this place. Oh boy, what do these people want? Going up in the world, Proteus, for years I have longed to climb, <laughs> climb up to the highest point I could find and gaze at the world around me, but the law forbade it. Well, I finally did it, and now I can safely say that I am happier on the ground. That was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> A, the boat that flippin' jumps. Crikey, I've seen things that, uh, that later the the flying boat. It, it could not have been done without you. I, well, you're not wrong there, lad. This is a spot where I chose to hide a very special little subway. I remember. But it's keep me happy Oh! Okay, sweet. Um, let's head over to. First, Gold Paw, because I feel like that's more people available. Yes. I probably should just smack myself in the middle just because. <laughs> We got two. Okay. Wait, I didn't upgrade my people yet. Ah, no, I didn't. Do I have enough? Yeah, of course I do. Hey! You're the young man. If you're looking for a special souvenir of your visit to Gopa, I just have the thing. It is almost impossible to put a value on something so precious, but I will be happy to sell it to you for a mere 10,000 guilders. Sure. He handed over 10,000 guilders. He obtained a pot of snake eyed peas. Oh boy, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You are now proud owner of a set of what we call snake-eyed peas. These are a very special breed of yacht peas. No matter how many times you roll them, you will always get a one. Yes, lucky number one. This is the most auspicious number of, of all here in Goldfall. Thanks a lot. Thank you for your thank you for, <laughs> for your custom, young man. Oh come on! Are you completely bonkers, Evan? I don't I don't care how much how much luck those things bring us. Ten thousand guilders is a giant ripoff. Let's, ha let's, see let's have a look at these magic beans of yours then, kiddo. Oh. 
covered in little notches. <laughs> ah! He told your puppy and man that he's gonna cut all your cut all the other dots off, hadn't it? That's that's why that's why they only ever roll ones. <gasps> See, I told you it was a ripoff. They let's let's get the swimmer and make him give us our money back. All these people in mining camps, and I can tell that's a kid. <laughs> I get it. He's a miner, so he goes into the mines. But jeez, what he's. <laughs> All right, kid. For your crimes, I'm sticking you in my, I'm sticking you in my mine shaft. Oi! Oi! Give us your money back. Oh! What, but how did you find me? The powers of the minimap. <laughs> Never you mind. You sold us some dodgy yacht peas, and you're going to give us our money back, or things are going to get messy. Do you understand me? Uh. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a refund. Received 10,000 guilders. We handed over this. <sighs> oh, this no so tell us, what drives up to do something so devious? Not enough money, I'm poor, my family's broke. I want to go to college! <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Mm. I need the money, my father died in a mining accident, you see. Without him to support me, I've been forced to do what I can to support myself. Yep. Oh. I'm sorry to hear <laughs> of your troubles, but you really shouldn't resort to that kind of trickery, you know. But I am not tricking anyone. I am allowing tourists to dream of fortune and joy. Is that not enough? Is that is that not worth the money you paid? My snake-eyed peas allowed one to dream. There's there's nothing more valuable. I mean, that is to that was totally not your mindset. I don't want to hear anything of it. Oh, flipping out. Why are you getting so worked up for it? You got caught. You got caught selling fakes. But you gave us our money back fair and square. We'll just call it quits, shall we? But they are not faked, merely doctored, and true snake-eyed peas really do exist. My father said so. They can be found in a place called Floodfall Cave, and I will find them. But he died before he could even find the place, let alone the treasures it contained. He was star he was a star-eyed fool forever, seeking an easy fortune, and I fear I am the same. Fortune only comes to those who believe in it, so I need to feel no shame for making a living by giving people his belief. Ha, huh, you keep telling yourself that. We we have to find those people. <laughs> <laughs> like every, like like they're having like a moral debate over there, and I'm over here like we have to find those peas. <laughs> what? Are you kidding? Are, after what he's doing, just you want to go? Yes. Just wait here. We'll get them for you. I promise. You, you um... will. You're a strange one, I must say. Well, I will I will believe it when I see it. But eh, I accidentally press uh, another button. All right, kid. Let's go on out. Let's see here, where is it at? Do you have a calm lens, eh? Fine. Let's see, where are we at here? Where be ye, thingy me jiggy? Uh, it's a I wish I never said that. Is that some uh, boat thing going on? Is that some boat thing going on? Let's go to boat. I cast boat. <coughs> Actually, is there like a teleport to boat? Oh, well, it's on the shore, so let's head there. You ever just cast a boat? You just see, like, oh man, I need to get myself a boat, and then you're like, I cast a boat. Well, don't worry, we're almost there, lads. We're about to cast a boat. Look, boat casted. Boom, look at that. Right there. Bam. We're like magicians, I'll tell you what. Alright, I'm gonna hop in here. Go on a journey. Alright, sweet. It actually felt a lot faster. I mean, it was probably from the, uh, the upgrade I gave it, but still, it's like, it felt outrageously fast. I was like, 
Ooh boy, got myself a classic iceberg cabbage. Mm 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 mm. Ooh yeah. Ooh boy, this has been. I'm gonna be honest, I've had a lot of fun actually, like recording, you know, Cooney the last three days. That's the thing, though. We're on like episode like 40 something, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I was recording nonstop for the last three days, <laughs> practically. I am counting on you all. So yeah, I probably messed up. But thank you, Evan. One more time, I dare you. Done well. Okay. Is this it? Nope. Maybe that's it over there. Oh, I think I see a little twinkle. You obtained a pot of true snake eyed peas. Wow. Oh, Alright. So, which way was it? Let's go in the opposite direction. What's what's farther down this cave? Hmm, some sort of higgledy cave drawings. Ooh, sparkly. <laughs> You're just in a dark cave and there you go, ooh, sparkly. A quadruple cream. Hmm, a dollop of quadruple cream. Dollop of quadruple cream. Oh yay. So you just I just come across a line of like quadruple cream just over and over again. I'm like, ooh. Oh! Ooh. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> What? Incineration. Sweet. Okay, let's grab the stuff and get on 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 out of here. I'm gonna make you scream. Jungle! Welcome to the jungle! Shanana! Well, I gotta be careful or else people will copyright me. Oh. <laughs> They'll demonetize a, a non monetized channel. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I guess I pretty much just sealed my fate there. Yeah, this is literally just a hobby channel. It's not. <laughs> uh, it's, it's never gonna be monetized. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. My father's always said said the snake-eyed peas would be found somewhere. In the yeah. Here you go. Hey. Your father was right. Snake-eyed peas really do exist. Whoa. Really? Yes. Yep. Get a load of these. Not not a crafty cut to be seen anywhere. The real McCoy. This actually makes me feel kind of good. <laughs> Thanks. I thank you. I cannot believe. We went to so much trouble for my sake. <laughs> I don't know you that well, man, but I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Thing is, I have to focus really hard for that face to look like, you know, a pug's face. I have to really focus hard. It's, it's, it's very difficult. <laughs> Meeting you was a stroke of true fortune. Perhaps my peas have some power after all, or perhaps our fates are intertwined. I hope you will not consider this too far to me, but I have come to decision. My future lies with you. I wish to join you in your kingdom. Mm. Not at all. We'd be happy to have you here. Ha we'd be happy to have you. <laughs> so I gotta remember to uh, employ him when I get the chance. Sweet. <clears throat> so first we'll visit that other person, and then... Let's see, how long has this been going on for? Yeah, 15 minutes, okay. So I'm not sure entirely everything that happened in this episode. I haven't been watching actually that well. 
watching that well. It's... I've just... It's all been fluttering by, you know? <laughs> I probably should also be using some of my better titles to name these videos. You know what? Nah, I'm happy with what I'm doing. <laughs> so we'll talk to him later, but first... Actually, wait, let's check in all aspects of this place. Alright. Sweet. Anything new to say? No? Oh, hello. Hmm. Howling has gone. He has left for another kingdom. His magnificent, magnificent presence will be greatly missed here, I can assure you. You, sir, you look awfully regular, but all right. Hey there, sweet tooth man. You there? Hi. Uh, are you a traveler of some kind? Well, I need yes. your help. Are you able to keep secrets? Oh. Uh, no. But all right. All right. Good. Then I then I need you to do a small favor. I want you to find find me something, something that cannot be found here in Goldfall. Okay. Oh, and what might that be? Are you not aware? Are you, you may not be aware of it, but Goldfall is famed for its spicy food. It is all that these all that most people eat day in day out. Gosh, every single day? It's not a little much. It is, boy. It is. Not not all of us enjoy having to endure the heat of every with every single meal. Honestly, I could do with some. <laughs> like I've been dealing with like barely savory to sweet, and I'm like, I want something spicy. <laughs> In fact, there are those who crave something sweeter, and I am one of them. I see. So you'd like me to go get you something sweet to eat? Yes. Precisely, but I will not settle for any old sugary junk. I I know exactly what I want. A slice of rose hip tart. It is a it's a delic it's a delicate delicacy from distant kingdom. It's from my droples. I am as a seasoned traveler, I'm assuming it is, so bring so go on right. go and bring it to me. Alright. Would you rather go get it yourself? Of course not, foolish boy, my my fondness for sweet treats is a secret. No one in my family knows. Only a complete stranger such as you such as yourself can help me. Please, boy, I must have my rose hip tart. Okay. Where do you get the rose hip tart anyway? I don't really want to. Uh, I don't know where to find that. Like, you know what? Let's let's check and see. I can see that it's not a um a personal quest, but or personnel personnel quest specifically. So let's have a look here. <clears throat> let's see where can it be found. Jeez, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's talk with um, let's talk with our good friend here, and we're gonna wait. I'll take that pebble. I need to talk with you. There we go. Welcome to Swift Solutions, where the world goes down and finds a help. All right. Have you gotten? Have you gotten the cotton? Hot dog cuisine. Obtain a monstrous mallet. Mm -hmm. some combs of running honey. Runny honey. Oops, no. Some likely to get more of that. Oh, oops. Work on the tasks. I'm noticing that my, that my controller is trying to feel a little unresponsive. I might have to switch to it. Oh, wait, what did I do? Oh, I don't want to take on tasks. Uh, trade tokens of gratitude. Ah, yes! Yes, we got more citizens! Oh, and they just have it from all over. Yo, Kingmaker's Cathedral! Yes! We got ourselves a good friend here. Alright, so Helena, a love for cooking game that can be used to hunting lodges. What are you doing? Hmm. In which case, this spell works. Oh, educators of mine for magic that can help boost research. Oh, wow. And for ores and minerals that can be boosted. Finally, someone who's not a child. <laughs> Jeez. Helius, uh, armor, intricate crafting skills that, that provide boost to any weapon related work. Wow. A fiery blunt underbus. Hmm. Mage's ring. Oh, wow. Well, not a country. Hubble Bubblery. Yeah, we need him. Okay, I think I can grab all these dudes. I'll take them all! I think. Yes, I can. Sweet. Excellent. Sorry guys, I'm not exactly the whole quick math stuff in here, you know? <laughs> That'll be it. Actually, let me see something. 
Um... Hmm. Tempting. <laughs> nah, it should be fine. Let's go. Oh, by the way. Sweet. Alright, so I think we're done there. Until we can get more, you know, stuff. Alright, so let's head over to now. Capstone upon hole, actually, because I don't know, maybe there's actually people here that wants to be taken. There's probably a good couple, like, two out of how many people? Three! Four! Four! Sweet. Okay, let's talk to you. Sir? Nope. Ma'am! Ah, that's right, yeah, that man looks a little plain. It's you. Hey! Hey, yep, Evan, aren't you? I... I wonder if it's, like, Australian. Hey, up, Evan, are You're Evan, aren't you? I heard... I heard about you a good turn I did for all local folk. It was my pleasure, and I managed to recruit an excellent ship right. Team our kingdom, too. Oh, wait, whoops. Catch me! Eh, he's not a terrible boat, lo boat builder, right enough. Eh, I would, I would say too many nice things about him, though. If he hears you, they'll go on and go straight to his head. <laughs> I don't know if that's correct. Haha, <laughs> thanks for the advice, Kaylee. Um, I don't suppose that you'd like to move to my kingdom as well, would you? Ta, ta for the, for the invitation, but I'll be, but I'll be, but I'll be right. I've spent so long waiting here for the daft Haporth. I doubt I'll ever be able to do it else now. Haporth? Haporth? Ooh, daft Haporth. I don't know what that means. Uh, who is waiting right. for you? My, my dad. He set sail some years ago and he's not been back since. Look, I'm not soft in the head. I know how dangerous it is on the high seas. I know what I know what happened to him. The black guy's like is not. But there's there's a part of me that feels like he's still out there somewhere. Listen, you'll be setting sail on the ship catch me making for you before long, eh? If you if you're able to spot me dad on your travels, you'll let me know, won't you? Mm. Of course, we'll be set sail out for him. You uh, doing any sailing? As uh, he went for the invaded, headed for the dry lands. Ta for this, seven. He means a lot. Sweet! Oh, there's a whole lot of stuff that that person will give us. Swellfish. Yeah. But, oh, wow. Lumberyard's productivity. Good. Yeah, I could do with more people who do that. Because what was it? Um, Like, technically, what was his face? What are you doing here, sir? I guess this is Gold Paw area. Hello. Oh. Eh, this is the right bad, is it? If not, if not, it gets done to it, I'll be kicking the bucket soon enough. Kicking the- Oh my goodness, really? What's the matter? Oh, I, I was supposed to- There's no arm in deadly in uh, That was the fact that this matter. There's a whole horde invading of mushrooms and all the edible mushrooms. Oh, that sucks. I know you'll, you'll likely think this daft, but I can't live without without any mushrooms there. I don't suppose that you could uh, have to help with, could you? Well, um, I'm certainly willing to try. Uh, what is it? Take out the mushroom, that's what. She'll be, she'll be right close by. Stick on the tail of one of them little spawn sinos, and I'll, and I'll lead you straight, straight to ma'am. I'm sure of it. You'll need to, you need to have your wits about you, about your mind. The mushroom, the mushrooms always have plenty of little ones protecting them, but you can't let them put you off. She needs to be taken care of. Now that I think, you're really close. Uh, oh. to each other uh, over, over our channels. Hey, happen we might. There's a
whole new life waiting for me on the other side of the ocean. I'm sure of it. Just spot, spot a Rowan and I'll find me a dream kingdom. What the? What about a man? Rowan? Now listen, you know your, sea, your seafaring vessel is better than me, but but are you sure this Rowan boat's gonna gonna cut the intercontinental mustard? Oh, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Don't worry, I have plenty of brawn to see me through. And if the worst comes, the worst, the worst, then the old girl sinks, and I can swim. I can just swim, swim shore. It'd be embarrassing, though, eh? Imagine how how folk would laugh laugh at me boats both sink, and what with me being a shipwright and all. Hmm. I don't think anyone's gonna. I don't think anyone's gonna laugh at that. <laughs> don't you think you should? Give it a trial run first, you know, just in case. If you try rowing to somewhere near Capstan, at least you'll come straight back if something goes wrong. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, is that? Tell you what, I'll have, I'll have to row down to my favorite beach before I set off properly. It's not too far from here, and it's right, it's a good view of a big crack of the sea from here, and all. It's probably for the best. Ta for giving me the idea. Ta ra for now. Crack in the sea, eh? Suppose he means the big water we fall bits, eh? Never a bad place to start an adventure, eh? Hmm. Fair enough. It's nice. It's nice to hear that our that our adventures are inspiring others to go and see the world, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, yes. And didn't think that the beach he even mentioned sound lovely. I almost think it would be a shame not to go and see it for ourselves. Just saying, you might die. Yep. I remember his mission though, well and good, and it's like long. <laughs> it's a long one. So we got all kinds of people just coming on in here. <laughs> I s they let all kinds of people in here and looks at the dog man. <laughs> Hello. You know, I felt so sorry for you after the coup and everything. I mean, I mean, it must have been awful. Yeah. But now, I, but now I hear that you've set up a whole new kingdom. I'm ever so happy. I wish every success I really Thank do. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome to come and live there too, if you like. <laughs> you know, I, I, I really come to like it here in Capstan Upon Home. Oh, I see. Though there is one thing that's not ideal. People around here, they don't seem to be very interested in shoes. They all seem to prefer sandals, actually. It's hard to make a living repairing those. Hey. Now, if your kingdom was was the kind of place where I could really put my cobbling talents to use, then I'd probably move there without a second thought. If you develop 25 or more different types of armor and accessories, I might be convinced that you think this was the place for me. Ah! <laughs> Alright, fine. Well! Dang it! Let's go. Fine. Sick of sandals. Alright, well, anyway, let's go and have a whale of a time down in Hydropolis. Yes. So we got a bunch of people to recruit from here, actually, now that I think about it, huh? <laughs> Alrighty, so, let's see. I purchased this here individual. Yes, I purchased people. Hi, you must be the helpful young man about whom everyone has been talking about. Yes, it stands to reason you have that kind of face. <laughs> a similar, similar countenance to mine in my younger years. <laughs> now, I wonder why you've come to me. Why? I, I will guess. It's because you want for me to join your kingdom, and am I correct? I am. You truly wish for me to join you? Surely yeah. not. This is not. This is not only your face. Not only that your face is kind. You also possess a warm heart, young man. And there are far more talented men than I in the kingdom of Hydropolis. That's right. That's why I'm employing everyone. It's about to rain again. Yeah. Mark my words. I oh, sorry. I missed all that. Well, anyway, welcome. Yeah, I got myself a fiery blunderbuss. I'm. A I'm a weapon maker by trade. If I were to put put to work in that area, I'm sure I will not dis <laughs> not disappoint. Aha! Uh -huh. I cannot wait to see what kind of kingdom a young man such as yourself has created. I am sure it will be wonderful. <sighs> okay, let's go. <laughs> are you? Are you? Are you? Where are you? Are you up there? Is it you? No. How about you? Yeah, it's you. Mm. Good day, are you ready to place your order? Hmm? Have you not come to your deed? Are you sure? After all, you've been running around all over the world helping people. Everyone requires a break and a good meal from time to time. It is not to say that I do not understand your desire to do right by others, but I am very similarly inclined. I I even go hunting in order to secure the finest ingredients for my customers. Mm. Hmm? You wish me to join your kingdom? Well, now, what an honor. You are an admirable young man, and I you know, it would be my pleasure to become your subject. 
Just hand me a bow and I will prove my worth, both on the hunting ground and in battle. Cool. Helena's Hellraisers. Wow. Cool. Well, anyway, mm. welcome to the team. Your kingdom must be full of ingredients that cannot be found elsewhere. I can barely contain my excitement. I can barely. I can hardly wait to show you my talent. Once I set my sights upon my prey, it is, a, it is as good as caught. Good. Cool. Hello. Hello. Oh, good day to you. How is Helena faring? Oh, yes. Yes, I, I abducted people. Don't worry, there's still more people to abduct. Would you like to come with me? No? Alright, then see ya. Let's see here. There's still more people. Ooh, oh, wicked. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I should probably turn around. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. Really? Oh, it's you. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm in deep trouble of that, I am certain. Excuse me. Are you all right? You seem to be worried about something. Indeed, I am. I'm terribly worried. I've committed a terrible transgression. I, I was caught, caught fishing out of bounds. What? Eh, what's that mean exactly? It means he went fishing where he wasn't supposed to. Of course it does. Well, you should have known better, ain't it? You, I expect you're a friend of now, man. Uh, oh, I know, I know. It was, it was, but it was an accident. I promise, an accident, nothing more. My hand slipped, I dropped my line into the ocean by accident, that was all. But a mean-looking mare woman has been pursuing me ever since. Oh. I remember this quest. Alright. <laughs> pursuing me ever since. Crikey, they must have spotted you with the eye, with the eye, the eye or something. There's unlucky. So I'm desperate to explain myself, but she is terrifying. Could you perhaps speak with her and make, make her see that it is merely an unfortunate accident? Promise never to do it again? Of course! I simply wish to put this awful episode behind me, that is all! Well, alright then, but just this once. Oh, thank you, I am forever in your debt. Last time I saw my pursuer was at Nautis Harbor. Her light green outfit makes her easy enough to recognize. Please, allow me to thank you again for your kindness and understanding of this matter. I think it was this lad that I purchased. Yes, it was. You. Hi. Oh, I know. You're the taskmaster of Swiss Illusion. Told me that you were the hero who saved Hydropolis. <gasps> and you wish to come, uh, come to your kingdom to help you. Then clearly you have to. You have a great eye for talent. I may not look it, but I am in fact a great hunter and I mess with the bow. Da 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 da. Yeah. Be my hunter. You'll go into the hunting lodge and you'll get us food, or else we'll die. Anyway, get going. Any of the else I had. <laughs> I may be still young, but I can over here. Give me a chance, and I'm the greatest hunter in the world. Sweet. You're too young to have your own regiment. Thank you very much. Thank you, Evan. You are the first person not to laugh at me upon hearing my dream. And I assure you, you will not regret it. I will always catch my prey, no matter what it may be. <laughs> Loser. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, so was there someone else over there? I can't reach him anyway. Actually, no way. I can now. Why? Because high places are not banned. Oh yeah. Let's head on up. Hello. Hey there. The laws have changed. The bridge is now open to all. Please enjoy the view. See if he's in. Yeah. Eh. Gimme. You tamed a pebble. Can I like just jump over here? No? How about here? No? So I'd have to go down here. And yeah. Hello. Bye. Oh, how's that going? Yeah. I love to look at the sea from here. I adore it. Sweet. I think I am player later. I don't remember. Hmm. Hello. Goodbye. Hello, sir. I'm here to speak with you. Huh? My word, how exceptionally beautiful. What, what'd you call me? The glint in your eyes. Oh, it is akin to the most precious of jewels. It tells me that you live happy, happy, fulfilling life, surrounding by dear friends and close allies. I must confess that to feeling rather envious. Join my kingdom and that can be fixed. I only have no one. I was once in love, indeed. I once gave gave a ring to my beloved. Alas, she did not treasure it. No, she, she sold it. 
Since then, I have focused only on my work, concentrating upon every minute de minute detail of the stones helps detail of the stones helps pre to prevent the pain of my broken heart from becoming unbearable. I hate that minute and minute are spelled the exact same way. Jeez. <clears throat> just, t just drop the E or something, and then, like, for one of them. For one of them, at least. And then we'll go, ah, we know exactly what you're saying. Hmm? You would like you like me to come to your kingdom, but why? What in the name of what in the name of the gods would you want you want with such a broken man? Uh, you know a thing to her about jewels, and I have mines that need mining, of course. I can only assume that this isn't that this is an act of charity. No. I have mines to mine. <laughs> Still I will so I will not look this particular gift horse in the mouth. I would I would be honored to accept your offer. I will depart immediately. Ah, but first, I must introduce Thank myself. Thank you very much. I am Proteus. Thank you for this opportunity. will not let you down. No, you won't. Honestly, if you're in the mines, you're never letting me down. That's, that's, that's a big thing. You're never letting me down. If you work at the lumber mill, though, you're definitely letting me down. You wanna know why? Because it's like, I need fine-grained wood. You know what's not there? Exactly that. All this. All this. Let's deal with let's, do, let's deal with the the, uh, the lady that's here. Uh -huh, judging by the map, she's way over here, hidden. Where has he gone? Why must he insist on continuing to run from me? Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Would you mind if we had a quick word? Hmm. Fine, but I must warn warn you that I am not presently in the best of moods. Whatever it is you have to say, I would advise you to keep it short. Uh. Ah, right. Well, someone's asked uh, asked me to explain an unfortunate. Ex Incident. You see, his hand slipped in the line and went in the water accidentally. He didn't mean to go fishing where he wasn't supposed to. Forgive me, but I do not understand. A fisherman wishes to explain himself to me. Yes, he's very keen for you to know that he didn't mean to go fishing out of bounds. Huh? But now I think I understand. You can tell your friend not to worry. I'm no place to. I'm no palace guard or fisheries enforcer. Enforcer. I think there was been a mis unfortunate misunderstanding. What? Really? <laughs> I do not condone what he what he did, of course, the fishing restrictions are in place for a reason, but if he says it was an accident, I believe him. Not that it is any business of mine either way. Sniffy sniffy my concern was not with where he where he fished, but what he fished with. I found I found his hook and tackle in the water. The craftsmanship is exquisite. He almost murdered him over it apparently. Such beautiful objects should not be wasted on fish. I wish I, I wish to ask him where he buys his gear so that I might purchase two such hooks to wear as earrings. Oh. oh, I see. So that's why you were following him everywhere. Indeed. Could you perhaps speak, speak to him and reassure him that I bear him no ill will? Or perhaps ask where he buys his hooks while you are there? Mm. Of course. I'm sure he'll be relieved to hear that he's not be, going to be punished. Oh, jeez. Evan! <laughs> Thank you very much. I shall look forward to hearing what he has to say. These are some sentences. Should I? Oh, fine. Good day to you. Greetings, guys. Welcome to Taver Taverna Calamari, uh, where the fun is a refreshments of the Hydropolis of it, in all the Hydropolis are to be found. You appear to have come from a faraway kingdom. I made that faraway kingdom. In which case, it would be an absolute tragedy if you were to return without dining with us. <laughs> I like the sound of that, even Mun. Uh, let's fill our fill our bellies by ear before we can before we think about doing anything else. <laughs> yes, let's. It, it would be a shame not not to sample some of the local cuisine while we're here. Righto, then we'll have two of whatever you recommend, then. Well, ordinarily, I would recommend the Medusa's hair pasta, especially for first-time visitors, but I'm... I'm just gonna save the record this whole time. What? So, that button, after all that song and dance, and how, about how this place is the best for miles around, and you're telling me we got to have the house special? Believe me, it pains me, pains me to be unable to serve, serve it to you, but without the necessary ingredients, there's little we can do. Of course, you were to bring them to us, we could reward you with a delicious meal. Really, you mean it? No word of a lie, like... Absolutely! I would never lie about something so important. 
Yeah. Well then, then that's it, and, and get some ingredients that she needs, and crack out that Harry Pasta nonsense. Mm. All right. Yes, I'm just, just skipping over so many words. Wonderful. Now, now we need some um, octopuses. Three, in fact. Oh. Oh, so, so octopuses? Huh? What, what's the matter, Evanman? You're not scared of them, are you? Hmm. To be honest, I am rather. It's the way their tentacles wriggle. Don't worry, though. I'll be able to eat them if they're mixed up, uh, mixed up in a nice sauce. I think. Oh. Well, if you don't like the look of yours, then when it comes, I'll be happy to scoff it for you. Waste not one, not antid. <laughs> That's not fair. Anyway, as I say, I'll, I'll be able to eat it. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> I can assure you that you will. Now I will, I uh, will wait you here. Remember, three octopuses. Yo, it's a cookbook. Guys, it's a cookbook. It's a cookbook. It's a cookbook. <laughs> okay, so shall we? Shall we? I'm here to recruit people, but this is so difficult. Oh, oh woe is me! Why? Why will this dark fog that engulfs my heart not clear? What's that? Are you all right? You look a little troubled. I am afraid you are correct. You see, I've. I have of late found myself consumed with a desire to become closer to a fisherman named Glaucus. <laughs> I don't care how his name is actually is actually pronounced. Glaucus is his name. <laughs> and you told him this? Oh. oh, of course not. My heart would tear itself in two were right to force myself to make such a confession. Gosh. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Mm. I don't. I don't I do not know, which, which is why my days and nights are filled with endless sorrow and confusion. I'm a diver and he's a fisherman, so we are often encounter each other out, out upon the ocean. Alas, he appears to be rather a taciturn man, and we have never exchanged so much of, as a polite word. Oh, if only, if only I knew how he felt about me at this rate, I fear that I shall drive myself mad attempting to guess at his true feelings. Hmm. Would you like me to go and talk to him for you? Huh? Do such a thing! Oh, that would be wonderful, simply wonderful. But please, you must not, you must not know, you must not know that you're asking on my behalf. You must be tactful, I beg of you. The cryptic close range ring. I guess it's good. Hey, Glaucus! Ah, Glaucus! Hey, buddy. Hmm. You wish to speak to me about Sevilla? Mm -hmm. That's right. I um, need to know what kind of person she is. Could you tell? Could you tell me what you think of her? Let me see. She's a good worker despite her youth. She's both a diligent and passionate, I would say. I see. And anything else? Mm, well, I believe her to be a considerate soul. She always shows great attentiveness to her colleagues' needs. Is that all? You spent you spent a lot of time work, working together at sea. You mustn't have known more about her. It's the same about her. If you wish, if you wish to know more about her, you should ask someone else. I'm busy. I must prepare for the boats for tomorrow. Oh, all right. Sorry. Mm. Oh, gee, I don't think Glaucus has any idea how severe. Sibylla feels about him. What if I told you that no man knows how a woman feels about him? <laughs> very, very often. I, I will tell you this. So to be honest, I mean, I think about it. Huh. I'm trying to think of my own history, I'm like, I don't, I don't know how anyone thinks of me. <laughs> A good worker. That is what Glock has said. Oh, and it is as I feared. I am nothing more than a colleague to him. <laughs> colleague zoned. Hmm. I don't know if that's entirely true. Hmm. If only there was some way of really grabbing his attention. Dance! No. <laughs> grabbing his attention, you say? Just like, go up to him and punch him straight in the face. Men love that. I guarantee you. They will never fight back. I swear. No matter how much... How many laws are in place, they will... Like, or how much, uh, like, like, with all, they, they always look at the law and they'll be like, no, nope, nah, I'm not fighting back. Nope, never. Not at all. Never. Nope, I'm too polite. <laughs> I can guarantee it. Right. <laughs> I shall use my secret talent. The same one my mother was so famed for in her youth. Um. Your secret talent? <laughs> What's that? Children, cover your ears. <laughs> Cookery, of course! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Cookery, of course, the ways of a man's heart is through his stomach, is it not? And not one person has tried to get to my stomach. They just let me wither. <laughs> it's surely true of all men of all races. 
It was certainly true of my father, that is, if my mother is to be believed. That sounds like a wonderful plan. Cook something tasty for him, and Glaucus is, is sure to start seeing you in a different light. You'll let me you'll let me know if there's anything I can do to help help, won't you? Well, as a matter of fact, you could do you could bring me some cutty fish. There's a cutie fish. Cutie fish. That would be most helpful indeed. They're in season at the moment. I have a feeling that Glaucus would will be rather fond mm. of their flavor. Certainly, Sibylla. One one cutie fish coming right up. Do I have it already? No. All right, fine. How do I get? How do I? How do I get? How do I get these kind of things? Um. Anyway. Quests. I could have sworn that I recruited like so many people. Uh, let's see. Daddy, come home. Okay. All right, where do I find this toggle info? Fresh fish market can be found in and near the water, so it's just whenever I find it. It's octopuses. I'm assuming wherever I can find it, cause I, cause I feel like I've found it before. I'm not sure where. Right, I need to get some. Is there anyone who works at the fisheries? Who can work at the fisheries? I feel like I can get somebody to just kind of like. How do I say? Like. Not exactly work on it, but you know. Let's see. All right, let's just work on recruiting people, I guess, for now. We're just we're just stacking up our side quests, I guess, for now. Well, well, well. Not a fan of games like this. I'm gonna be honest. But I mean, I mean, I love Nino Kuni. I I mean, I'm just not a fan of like running around looking for such people forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Please tell me you're someone I can recruit. Yeah. What is this? I guess I go over here? I don't know. Hello! Goodbye. Yes. Yeah. I attained a pebble. I'm so glad I did. Hello, child! Oh, I remember you. Don't look at it, don't look at him in his eyes. Hi. Greeting! I am Pontus, the finest oceanographer in all of Hydropolis. I know all that there is to know about all things oceanic. Crikey. You're not sure on confidence, are you? Hey! And why would and why would I be? I am a genius! And so and so much so that I already know exactly why you approached me. You wish to become my assistant, do you not? I like how his hair just does that. You're no. Evan. I know you're shocked, but start with a no. <laughs> Alas, I received countless applications such as yours. This being so, I must separate the wheat from the chaff. You must complete the challenges I set and prove yourself worthy of this prestigious role. Trust me, guys, it's to acquire another person. <laughs> Challenge one, find a venomous fish and bring it to me. Some broccoli looking fish man <laughs> kid. What the flip? Hang about, man. Are we starting already? Mm. What's this fish? Now that really is a challenge. Is it? Is it, man? <laughs> Alright. Top lobster? You mean rock lobster? Oh, yo, you can go into the fish markets. Yo, I need this dude. Well. I guess I mean we'll I guess we'll get a bunch of these applications and we'll just start looking for fish. I keep on thinking I'm seeing something on my window. It's just a car. And it's a car, Henry. It's a car, Henry. It's not the demons in the corner of your eyes. It's just a car. Chill, man. All right. Oh, what are we doing here? Oh, 48 minutes. My gosh. Oh, I'm sorry, dudes. 